What's the plot of this movie again? Okay, so in this scene, Ham from the movies is now an evil sci-fi doctor who is attempting to chase Woody through the desert in an attempt to stop him from saving a train full of toy orphans. Toy orphans. If I could make a brand of toy orphans where you just press a button and, and it says, Please don't hit me again! Or something really depressing like that. I wonder how many people would buy it. Oh. This game. This looks like a PS2 game. Actually, it probably was because this is the same era as that. What's the horse's name? Bullseye. Okay, I've... Let it be known, I have, this is a one-off, first of all. Second of all, I have never seen this movie. I've seen one and two. Also, Venture Man is playing. So do you know what that means? That means that Venture Man has a controller! I don't know when that started, where that became a thing, but we're gonna keep doing it. Whenever he has that controller, you know I'm gonna scream that he has a controller! In a really awkward voice. Are you sure he's a horse? Cause he's he's the same size as Woody. He looks more like a, a donkey. Tiny horse. Must be a miniature. Must be a, a My Little Pony. Well, so is Woody. They better have a, a, a label on the box of the bullseye toy that says not life size. Cause if they don't, that is some bull crap, man. You know what? This kind of reminds me of Sonic Unleashed. I don't remember what level it is, but there's one where just all the stuff breaking. No, it's Sonic in the Black Knight. Would you like to play that, by the way? Sonic in the Black Knight. Okay. Series or one off? Because I, I, I assure you, that thing is in fury. Okay, good. What about secret rings? I don't know anything about that. It does not seem that angry. Probably also. Okay. Who came up with those, by the way? Sonic in the Black Knight, and then there's Sonic in like Aladdin's world. The main boss is is Jin, or however you say his name. Was that Ham's voice? Yeah. Okay. So I see two things, two reasons why he sounds like that. Either, either they use the effects because he's a toy, or that was an excuse to get really cheap voice actors. <laughs> this isn't from the movie, is it? Well, there goes all the revenue. Is this like the exact scene? Uh, probably not that scene. I, I mean, it looks kind of lower quality. So maybe this isn't the exact scene. I wouldn't make any money on this anyway. I, I have noticed a very huge spike in subscribers. Could you, could you all tell me where you're coming from? Because I have no idea. I have not been advertising anything. Al's Toy Barn. Yeah, that's the place from the second movie. Oh, I think I remember that. He looked like the, the fat guy with the beard in Jimmy Neutron, didn't he? Yeah, there was probably like five of those. What the freak is that run? <laughs> He's like, whoa! I'm Sonic the Woodhog! Collecting. A beach, a very tiny beach ball. Extremely tiny. Smaller than a toy boy. Press B to save orphans. Wow, press B to just complete the mission. This actually looks kind of cool. Blue Woody. Yes. I can tell if there's something. 
listen. Got it. Got it. He sounds like Knuckles' voice in Sonic Heroes. So, uh, you know how Tom Hanks' voice is, uh, No, but go ahead. Uh, fun fact. For the video games and all the other stuff, that's not Tom Hanks. That is his brother. Oh. That's like, the, um, apparently... Apparently Tom Cruise, like the guy in Mission Impossible, has he has like this contract where any anything that any movie he's been in, there is not allowed to be like any like video game or like merchandise for it. So that's why you don't see like a Tom Cruise action figure or a Mission Impossible game. Although I'm sure the same guy who made Lego Batman on the Sega Genesis will gladly make that because he also made Despicable Me 2 on an NES. He skipped one. Jesus, ham. He went ham. Oh, it's the the claw guys. What the? F I'd like to say right now that. I I'd like to say right now that I hate every single every with every single movement Woody makes it makes him look more spastic and looks like he has a convulsion. Also, Vegeman told me that off camera that apparently Tim Allen, the voice of Woody, I mean Buzz Lightyear, yeah, the voice of Buzz Lightyear, was known because like I I like took notice on how on the case his eyes and eyebrows were green. I don't know if that's just a defect on mine, but <laughs> he, um, uh, I said he looked like he was high, and then Vegeman told me that Tim Allen was known for being on drugs. Possessive. Christmas with the family, just... You all sit down on the couch, you had a great meal, you decided to watch a great Christmas movie. What's what's a Christmas movie? Santa Claus, 1 through 37. There will be 37 someday. Santa Claus 3, the squeakwall star starring Tim Allen. Uh, Shrek starring Tim Allen. Any, <laughs> any Christmas movie. Always has Tim Allen in it. Christmas with the Cranks. That movie sucks. He's still signed for it. Next time you watch a Christmas movie, specifically Santa Claus, just know that when your kid probably sees this because they were looking up Toy Story and not me, they're gonna be like, Mom, why did Santa snort Coke? Let's tip him. <gasps> Whoa! Why are you able to do that? Did you see that? The button? It says Throy! What the f <laughs> I found a typo! Throy. Also, the reason we didn't start the menu is because of the copyrighted song. But I'm sure this song's from the movie anyway. Just because Up got a content ID because of the song. Oh. What was it in a box? What or was that a dress? That thing that just ripped off of the orphan. Freeze ray. Reach for the star. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm how you threw that on him while he was on the ground, and that pushed him upward like that. Wait, isn't he called like the evil Dr. Porkchop or something? I thought so. Maybe I have seen the third one. Because I specifically remember Andy growing up 
like telling some little girl, "This is an evil Doctor Pork Chop," like in that exact voice. Ladies and gentlemen, don't invest in motion controls. Look at Woody's face. What? The f <laughs> that sound effect. I could. I'm so. Not of the story, but all these weird noises and motions. Motion controls for life. Oh, I thought that killed him. <laughs> it's like that filthy Frank's Motion controls for life! Was that a coin? Whose face was that? Uh, he looks he looks like something I don't want to see at the end of an hour. Alright, what is that on oh is that a rope? Okay. I thought they were in a box or that was some weird dress. But I don't think they'd have their dresses torn off in a woody oh. I almost called this Woody Woodpecker in a Toy Story game. <laughs> We have played a Woody Woodpecker game. Haha! -ha! Now I have an excuse to link that with a card. Click here. You can't see me pointing, and I'm not pointing anywhere anyway. I'll put it wherever I want to. Okay, that was brutal. Wow. Toy Story is metal. Toy Story is hardcore. How many movies are you aware of? that have been, like, about toys, like the life of them. Like, ones that are not rip-offs. Because the only one besides Toy Story I've ever seen was the Toy Warrior. Which was basically... I don't remember the exact plot, but this guy who, who was for some reason named Jew... Yes, that was his name. <laughs> that, that, that was his name. Jew. And they have a theme song. I don't think Jew, 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 Jew. <laughs> What the frick? Anyway, keep in mind this is for kids. It was like, I don't know, something about a toy warrior. He gets made fun of for playing with toys and he's in like middle school. A bunch of weird stuff happens. He's part of the toy land, he starts dating some western anime girl who just so happens to be a toy, so I don't even know if that's legal or not. Uh, also, she was 18, and he was like 12, so that's gross. I don't know. It was very weird and morbid in a weird sense. It was animated though, not CG, but 2D drawn. I think that's why I liked it, because I don't see many 2D drawn animated films that have not been made by Disney or uh, Universal Studios. Fun fact. There was this old cartoon from the 30s called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You've heard of him, right? In Epic Mickey, I assume. Um... Well, I used to love Woody Woodpecker. I would watch him as a kid. I even liked him more than Toy Story. I don't know why. <laughs> because everyone hates him. Oh, and apparently he had his own CG remake. Uh, we don't speak of that, though. So, you go look that up if you want your eyes bleached by your own screen. This motion control is the definition of suck. Suck. Now, Toy Story's motion controls. New Urban Dictionary defined. Did you beat him? He, he's laughing, so. And so the evil Dr. Porkchop was defeated. Oh, the, the orphan train made it safely to its destination. Wait a sec. 
You had a giant pig ship and a fleet of attack That's drones, the unicorn's and you voice. lost to a cowboy on a horse. Hey, the iPad severely hampered my depth perception. Oh right, blame the iPad. Anyway, That's her voice. To the game board. Which, if I can say, is seriously impressive. I can is that Mabel's voice actor? Yeah, well, I what the freak? Mabel's a dinosaur. That was Mabel from Gravity Falls. What the freak is going on? That's the T Rex. If you know what. That, that looks like it would be his voice. I don't remember any of these voices. What the freak is that porcupine? All these voices don't match, especially Mabel as a triceratops. See, see that matches. That matches. Promises not to stomp at the smithereens. The ham kind of matches. That matches. Mabel as a tri- <laughs> Don't smile at me like that, Buzz. I'll, I'll buzz you! With my knife! My buzz saw! Alright, so we should end here. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I did in a weird sense. Maybe because I was not the one using the motion controls. Uh... And content ID. <laughs> Too late now! So I'll just do my outro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe, go subscribe to Vetrimate Studios. You have a subscriber in me. You got no revenue.